technical difficulties. So let me uh, restate uh, what I said um, in the beginning. I have to apologize for um, last Saturday. Um, I had intent to uh, record for you guys, but I had a migraine, so I took medication, laid down, and thought I was going to get up in time. But when I woke up, it was like the wee hours of the morning. So today we are going to do a um, chandelier. I say crystal base, but it's really the the bottom of it is crystal, but then it's like a um, it's really pretty. I, I really like it. The the setup, the way it, the two pieces that's going to go together, and I'm trying to figure out which way I want the the vase part to be, so you guys will be able to you guys will be able to help me decide which way it should go. Kiana, hurry up. Um, and I see, I'm sorry. I know um, I, I lost some people already because um, I'm taking so long. But just bear with me, please. I hope everybody is staying safe during this time. And... I pray that um, all your little ones are safe. Hello, Cassandra. Designed by V. I've been okay. Um, no, I'm lying. I'm lying. Um, something is, is going on with me, and I don't know what it is. And... I was telling my husband this morning about it. And I just, guys, I'm really struggling here. As y'all can see, I haven't put out a video um, in a while. And I'm really struggling to see whether or not I want to continue this journey. Because... The more I get into it, the more frustrated I get. This, I just need this part. Mm -hmm. The more frustrated I get, and yep. that's not really good yeah. for me. Oh. Seven zero one three. Okay. Y'all can see me right here while I get this set up. So yes, um, I was I've been struggling with that to stay. It's not the content, guys. It's not the content at all because I have lots of content, content, <laughs> content to do. You can stick stand it up right there. I won't stand up. Uh -oh. Yeah, because you um you got it the wrong way. Anywho, so yeah, I've been struggling with that to um how do you take this off now? Just take the whole thing and sit it in front of you because I'm already running like really, really behind. Please be nice to me. Right now, if I wasn't having some any kind of luck, if I wasn't having some kind of bad luck, I wouldn't be having any kind of luck. Wait. These are connected to the headphones? So, yes. Um, It's not that the content is not... um me recording the actual video. It's the fact that I put so much time and effort, Kiana. I'm trying to pause it. I'm pausing it. I'm pausing it so I can like attach it to the right. Okay. Okay. Well, go, go, go out. Go out and do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I um I've been trying. All right, so, uh uh. Okay. Let me see if I can get a little bit more in here. Okay, so anywho, I'm gonna talk why I work. Um, as you can see, I got I have this piece right here. This I really really love it. Has this flower like um, um design in it, and I got this uh from I think it's from the Salvation Army, and the price tag has three dollars on it, but they was having like a ninety percent off green tags, so um what three dollars like three cents i guess so um 30 30 cent no yeah yeah no anywho <laughs> i didn't pay much uh, uh, at all for it and then i found this piece right here um and i love the design on it as well the spiral thing and um I, it it was two ninety nine, but I got it fifty percent off, and this one came from like Habitat for Humanity, and so um, I have two ways that we can do this, and I'm I'm gonna have to figure out. So I can turn it this way. Look, guys, look. Give me look. No look. Look. No look. So, get on in the bee. Get somewhere to sit down. Hi, Moscow. Moscow. I hope that's gonna be good right now, guys. I really do. So, anywho, um, like I said, so I have this piece right here, and we can put it on two different ways. Um, we can sit it up here in this manner, right here, and let me put it like it can sit up here like this. Or I was thinking, turn it up like this. Have a Shanda uh, crystal uh, hanging right here in the center, or have crystal, some crystals hanging on the inside because I can hang crystals off on the inside as well as the outside. And I was thinking about doing it that way. So which way, do you, which way, guys, do you think is best? And while you're doing that, I am going to cut some totally dazzle. Um, 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 Bling wrap so I can put on the put on the vase. Oh, I, if I can find the scissors. 
Yo, let me see this shit. Oh, no. I have one. What are you doing? Trying to get this light to stay. Oh. Uh -uh. So, guys, tell me what you think. Do you think... Yo, give me some different scissors in this drawer. Look out, look in this drawer right here, this middle drawer, and get me some scissors. Kiana. Kiana. Yeah? Look in the middle drawer and get me some scissors. Thank you. So, anyway, um. Let me see if this is... Oh, yeah. Uh, um... Yeah? <laughs> what did you call me? I didn't call you. I, I didn't see what y'all said um, because the... the I had the... um. The, the um comments scrolled up. So let me move this over to the side so y'all yeah, can see what I'm doing. So I'm just cutting some strips of um totally dazzled bling wrap so we can wrap around the our vase and hopefully the longest part is gonna be cutting this out I think because once we get everything we need it should go um pretty fast after that yeah 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 Kiana bye hey go sit down go sit down Go sit down. Go sit down. Okay. You too loud. Um, me, if you're talking about me, I'm from the U.S. I'm from um, a state, North Carolina, but I'm from the U.S. And um, I know I have some. The water side. Okay. Yeah. The way it is. Okay. Thank you. Um, and I know you said you speak Russian and I don't know anyone that speaks Russian and, um, I'm quite sure that you can put it, you can do the closed caption and put it in Russian, um, for, on, on the closed caption. So, uh, while I'm talking, it'll, it'll translate it for you guys. So, um, if there's any public workers out there that's watching this, um, thank you for your service. Um, thank you for putting your life on the line each day to make sure that my family has what it needs to run. And um, my husband is a frontline worker. He's a he works in the um, healthcare field. And so um, I worry about him a lot. Um, but, you know, you have to do what you have to do and and uh, pray, pray about it and leave it in God's hands. And uh, because it's going to happen regardless of if, if it's if it's meant for you to have it, you will have it just like it was a little four-year-old boy that had um, the coronavirus and the mother said that they they stayed quarantined they um it was just the mother and the two daughters the son and the the husband and all of them was quarantined at home they didn't go out they didn't socialize um and her four-year-old son got the coronavirus and um he he was doing bad for a while, but uh, it, it, he turned the corner for the good. And um, so like his whole and the whole other the household never co contracted contact contracted contracted 
Ugh, I can't even talk. Um, from him being there and being sick and being quarantined and them being in, right there uh, with a full-blown case of the um, COVID-19. COVID so, somebody asked me why do they call it COVID-19 and then some call it coronavirus. And I think the coronavirus is a name that they gave it from where it originated and COVID-19 is the scientific term that they gave it as far as a, a disease is concerned. Um, I guess the I guess the, the COVID part has some type of meaning on, to what type of um, bacteria it is um, that caused this, this uh, deadly disease. Now guys, I know and I, I would be uh, I would be naive to think that everybody that watched my channel um, has the same uh, political affiliations and the same views. And as I said, I try not to talk um, politics because I don't want to upset anyone. Because everybody's entitled to believe what they want to believe. But I don't understand how the most powerful man in the world can say, can tweet, the coronavirus has been very bad and been very bad with the outbreaks. And he said that um, he, all the people that, that got the disease um, probably wasn't going to vote for him anyway. So he don't feel sorry for them that, that contracted it. Now, this is the president of the United States saying something like this. So regardless of what affiliation you are, you have to be... Um, embarrassed if you support him because of the things that he say out in his mouth. And then he was like, it don't matter because their numbers are looking good anyway. And, and it's sad to think that there are millions of people out there and um, obviously I'm not a um, Trump supporter. I'm not Democrat or Republican. I'm not an affiliate. But um, for him to be able, I just don't know. I just don't know. And then he's going to probably end up being president again. And I can only say one nice thing about what he's done and, and, and it benefited me as a person. Um, and, and everything else, it seemed like he just, uh, dogged my race out and, you know, and that's even something that he called us to. But um, he he had where the your VA benefits and your Social Security benefits does not count against you as income. So you can have that income and no one can count it as income because it's uh, a government, government um, funded. And so... That's about the only thing he good that he's done for me, and I and I and when I think you say my mom, your mom say, if you don't know anything nice to say, don't say anything all at all. That's my nice thing right there that I can say that he did. So he did do that for my family, and I am grateful to that. But I guarantee you, it wasn't because of me. It was because of his big time supporters, probably. So um, that's my that's my soapbox on politics. And if, like I said, if I offended someone, please forgive me, um, because everybody's entitled to uh, love who they love and support who they love. And so you know, there's people out there that they don't mind your president talking the way he talked, um, maybe because they do the same thing and. You know, you you as as old folks say, 
birds of a feather flock together. So that's why it probably don't matter. It's a red one. Guys, I hope I'm not going to mess up. Oh, I know what that is. Never mind. Um, that's Messenger. Somebody sent me something on Messenger. And like I said, this probably right here is going to be the longest part right here. Cutting this out. Because after this, everything should go pretty fast. And let me say, the method that I'm going to use to secure the, um, the crystals... Um, I'm going to use a pon a pony bead, <laughs> a pony a pony bead, and that is a little bead with a hole in it. And um, uh, two people use this. Uh, Beverly at Stunning Creation. She actually uh, uh, was the first person that I seen use this method that I'm going to use to put the crystals on. And then um, what's her name? One of my other favorite YouTubers, she used the pony bead, pony bead to prop um, her crystals up on so her crystals can sit straight. And so um, I got those two methods from two different people. So I want to make sure that I give them credit uh, for their invention or their hard work uh, and dedication to the craft. And guys, they have, uh, I, I wish I, I, and I'm going to think of her, her channel before because I, I see it in my head. But um, I think she's of Hispanic descent. But, oh God, I can't even think of her name. Um, she does a lot of glam uh, DIYs. She, uh, she's, She's very religious. Oh God, what is her name? But anywho, um, they have wonderful channels. Uh, it's amazing what um, Beverly comes up with um, using um, boards from the Dollar Tree, these elaborate um, city scenes that with lights on them. And she, she did a coaster I don't think it's out yet. It may be on her other channel. She has two channels. But she made a coaster, a resin coaster. And and it has a, a city inside of it. And I think she sell them. And I really want to buy. I want to buy some of those. And she has some, um, some Chanel ones that she did. And I want to buy some of those. So I'm going to have to get in contact with her. Um and see how much a set of eight of each one of those will cost because i want i want them they are nice really nice so go over and check them out check her out for one because i can't think of the other one right now but i'm praying that it'll come to me i'm hoping that i have enough of this when i finish cutting it i think that's where i'm gonna stop this is gonna be the last one and I'm going to stop right here as far as cutting these are concerned. So I can go ahead and get them together. Get my two pieces together. I am going to put the bling wrap on um, the vase art first. And guys, I want to tell you... Um, I thought about using um, mirror mosaic towels, the real small ones, to do this, put this on it as well. But I said it's hard to get those from the Dollar Tree. Now, you could go to the Dollar Tree, and if you want to make something like this, you get they have a, a big bowl like this. It's, of course, it's not um, glass, um, but they have a bowl, and they have couch and they have um vases that you can use and um i've seen people use it use the use um green wrap and make this spiral the spiral spiral 
effect on it, on it before. So you can use Dollar Tree items to do this, or you can go out um, to um, thrift stores and you can always find vases and different types of bowls and things that you know you look at and just put them together and and they turn out to be something so amazing so i'm going to turn it this way i'm going to see if if i use the um e6000 if um The groove is on the inside. It's not on the outside. I'm gonna see if I if I use this or if I should use um hot glue. I know if I if I use this, I'll have more time to actually work with it. Make sure I got the right side. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna go with the E6000. And this piece right here I get at my daughter. I am so happy. Well, I'm happy right now. My um, I had all my grandchildren here with me today, and I don't know why I wasn't thinking that um to take their pictures while they was here. Um, I took pictures of the two youngest ones, um, because I I, I think I told you guys. Well, some of you guys know that I'm a, a photographer as well. And so my daughter called me and asked me if I would set things up so I can take pictures of the girls when they got here. And so I did that and um, I wish I would have thought about taking the pictures of all, all of them together, but the boys, they don't have a haircut. Now let me... <laughs> Let me ask you guys this right here. This uh, I'm uh, I'm laughing because you you know why I'm laughing in a second. Have any of you did any of you of you grow up and where your um grandmother or auntie or somebody you, know, you played in the water outside and you got a ringworm on your face and there was a baby in the house and they took the the um, baby's uh, pee pamper and wash your face with it. I want to know if if my family was the only family that did that. Um, it's something about, and it has to be baby's pee. It can't be adults. I wouldn't want to put no adult pee in my face anyway. But I, my grandson, um, him, him and his friends in the neighborhood, I have a pond in the back of my house and I have a lot of turtles in there. I love my turtles. Um, I try to go out and see them and feed them. And um, they they go back there because, of course, there's going to be uh, probably a snake or something in there. And they go back there to um, catch snakes. I don't know why, but they go back there and they catch snakes and... That's just something that they do. Is we have one little boy in the neighborhood. He can tell you about any snake there is, and he he him especially like to um, get the snakes. But anywho, my my grandson had been playing out in the the ditches, the ditch. Um, well, they really not ditches. Uh, I don't know what you call them. The reservoirs. Was, and he got two small ringworms on his face. And so when my daughter was here with the babies, I took the baby um, pea pamper and wiped his face with it. And he was like, oh, it don't smell good, y'all, y'all. 
I said, well, stay out the ditch. You don't have to worry about it. Well, I wonder if anybody else grew up with that, knowing that or doing that about a wing worm. And if you don't know what a, a ring worm is, it is a type of skin bacteria that gets on your skin from dirty water, um, like where, like, cause the pond, the pond has the turtles, it has snakes, it has um, tadpoles, it has frogs. So it has a lot of, um, it has a lot of creatures in there. And so, when you play out there, yeah, there's always that risk of that happening, especially, uh, you know, they're not washing their hands. They, they just um, go out there and play. Um, and that's another thing that, you know, they need to do because of the COVID-19 um, is to come in frequently and wash their hands. And I make my grandson come in every, every 15 to 30 minutes. It depends on what he's doing. If he's actually going over one of his friend's house, he can check in every 45 minutes to an hour. Oh, but if he, that's uh, a cool thing. Thank you. Help but, me open it. I can't open it. Hold on. I get it. Just let me finish this. Okay. Um, and so, um, but if he's outside playing, he has to come in every 15 minutes every. or check in. Come on. Oh man, call your uncle on, on Messenger and tell him to bring me some um, name brand uh, grapefruit, um, um, cran grape. Tell him to bring me some name brand. Tell me, can you go ahead? Because you said the store closed at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, what time is it? It's 7 38. Tell him name brand. Yeah, Welch's or something like that. Uh, I'm trying to stay away from soldiers, God. So, um, my drink of choice is cran grape right now. And I'm going to let you guys see uh, that did that to her daughter, but it was because of ringworms was ice cream. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I mean, uh, it, it wasn't, it was like, and he didn't really make a big issue of it um, because I guess, you know, it's Yaya, and Yaya's not going to do anything to hurt me. So he, it wasn't like he made a big issue. He just was like, ooh. Okay, guys, so this is what we have so far. And I think it's coming out gorgeous. And I am using the um, E6000, but you can also use um, hot glue if you want, because some people are really skilled at putting bling wrap down with hot glue, and I am not one of those. I get these big gloves, and, and I think it's the nozzle on my hot gun. And I have, you know, I have hot glue guns that have um, small nozzles, but um, I hate plugging up two different um, two different what you call that thing? Hot glue guns. Guys, I've been making um, masks, uh, you know, for my husband and myself when I go out. Um, I, I try not to go out much, but um, I had to go out the other day to get some flooring, the rest of the flooring for the steps. And I, um, my grandchildren, I, I, I try to paint every springtime. I try to paint, touch up paint in, in my home. 
Um, that way, you know, the walls won't get it's so, so bad that, you know, you got to paint the whole entire wall. So I try to touch up paint every spring, but there is certain spots in my home that it's like my grandchildren gravitate towards. They, their hands just, uh, no matter how many times I say, get your hand off the wall, get your hand off the wall, it's, they still do it. Last last night, um, I ordered pizza for them. And sure enough, I came downstairs today and a pizza handprint was right there on the wall. So I had to wash, wash that down and repaint it. And so I was like, you know what? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna get ahead of this thing because I'm tired. Good evening, Courtney. Thank you, Cassandra. Um, I'm gonna get ahead of this. I'm not going to keep having to paint, 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 paint. So I came up with this thing, and it's probably not even me coming up with it. Uh, um, but I got I went to Lowe's and I got some acrylic. And I got the acrylic cut in four inch, four inch wide, 24 inches long. And um, you can get it as long as you want or as wide as you want. But that's that's the only, that's what I needed for my area. So I have, um, you know, I told my grandchildren, my grandson that, you know, come at like he going walking out of the, the kitchen and walking up the stairs. So I can see exactly where to actually place the um, the acrylic sheets, and what that's going to do is it's going when they touch it, it that's going to be that's going to get a dirty. Oh God, what did you do, Arda? I'm glad I saw this before it dried all the way. Um. But it's going to allow me to be able to just use Windex or something like that just to clean it and not have not having to paint it. So that's just a little trick. If if you deal with that a lot with um, high traffic area with your hand with hands um, and you get tired of looking at it or you get tired of washing it or painting it, then try that. Try going to get you some acrylic sheets. And you don't have to go to Wal um, Lowe's to get acrylic sheets. You can go um, You can go to Walmart and buy uh, the picture frames that that has the, the large acrylic sheets. On. Keona, turn that down, please. Um. Um, you could get those crystal sheet. I mean, those um, those sheets and and um, cut those. You can score them and then snap them, snap them, cause that's what I did. My son, he's he's anytime I need muscle, I tell him to come, and so. Keona, if I tell you to turn it down again, you're going to turn it off. Um, Keona, go upstairs. No, I thought that would make it till turn it down. But, um, so, yeah, I thought that was a really, really good thing. And I think, well, I know it's going to help me not having to paint so much. Um, there is still going to be places that the paint is going to get messed up. Almost finished cards. Almost finished. Oh, but guys, um, thank you so much for all of the new subscribers that we have. And that is, that's, I didn't finish what I was going to say in reference to the channel. On, um, um, I was thinking about, you know, 
not doing the channel anymore because you know we're getting the new subscribers but we're not getting the views and uh, really if i don't get in, if if i make a video and get no views then there's no advertising so there's no funds coming in and there's no uh, money for me to buy supplies which i don't need any right now but what i'm saying is still you know i do this out of i, I love it but i don't want it to hurt my family at the same time by taking money that i have to that i need to um put elsewhere with buying supplies so that's normally what i do with the the youtube check and guys it's it's not much when i first started youtube i was making thousand dollar checks and i don't know what made me think the whole time it was going to be that way but yeah i was i was i was getting thousand dollar checks getting paid and now i only, I only get like 200 and some dollars so um and i like i said i try to use that back into the channel but if we don't get any views and so we don't get any advertisement to play and then the less views you get the less amount your advertisement is worth so i'm just um thinking long and hard about you know the channel and i know that there's people that support it 110 percent um you always there you um you 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 uh associate socialize with me on other platforms um and so i know that there are some supporters but you know it's only a little it's only a certain things that they can do the lower ones the the ones that are here on the daily on, on, on every time that I, a low one they Yeah, you can get one. Get me one too. Okay. Um, so did y'all did y'all go in those pop circles earlier? No, I didn't have them yet. But anyhow, I I really want support from you guys. And I don't know if I, I could just do this every Saturday. But like I said, it will probably take me two months, two months just to get the hundred dollar minimum that you have to have before you can get paid. Um, and I, it probably would take me months to get it, to get just a hundred dollars if I just do this, just do um this craft with me and i know that this craft with me this hour long i love being with you guys i love talking to you guys and i know that a lot of people that come that look at this say oh that's you know that's too long hour is too long it's too long um you need to shorten it and this right here was not meant to be a um thing where we just rushed through it this it, I, I started a crap with me so that we can do what we're doing now we can sit here and we can talk you can watch me craft and um we just have some family time just like you know you will have family time with your family this is our family time, and we have it every Saturday at seven um, at seven p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we go for an hour. And I have put forth this several times um, with the ones that are here all the time, whether or not they wanted to bump back some time, you know, to take it back to like thirty minutes or something to that nature, and. The, the consensus has always been, you know, keep it an hour like it is. 
And I know a lot of times I go over the hour. And I thank you for sticking with me. But majority of the time, if I'm going to go over the hour, I will um, tell you guys that, you know, go ahead and, you know, spend time with your family, cook, eat, all those things. And then you can come back and watch the ending of it after you um, finish having your time with your family. So this is the last one. I think Petal is blessed in something like this, this spiraling vase thing, if I'm not mistaken. And I think she also, she may have did the crisscross pattern, like did it this way and then went back this way. But I'm not going to do that because I don't have the lines to follow. And I don't want this to look jacked up. I want it to look really nice and elegant. Okay. So here we are, right here. <laughs> yeah, Cassandra. <laughs> a lot, that's the consensus with a lot of people. A lot of people say the same thing. If they think it's an hour, then they're in the wrong place. Oh, hours too long, they're in the wrong place. Okay, I do want to put one around here. Since we're going to um, leave this at the bottom. I want to put a strip around here. So, um, like I said, this the channel is going. Um, I don't. I want us to hit the uh, fifty thousand mark um, by the end of this month, and but it doesn't seem like we're going to get there. We at forty nine seven. Yay! Forty nine seven. So we need 300 more people to um, join. So keep sharing, guys. And I'm and I'm still I keep putting it on other platforms. And my family is still, you know, um, supporting me. And I just had a niece. Um, I didn't know she had a a, a channel, and hers is called Rainbow. Rainbow Bright TV, and hers is a it's a family family channel, and she does they do um um what you call them things um, challenges uh they they do all the fun crazy stuff on those that channel where you you know they they eat hot hot food and different things like that. So, she just joined my channel and my granddaughters. And thank you to whomever the new su subscribers are to my granddaughter's channel. She uh, just she just got three new subscribers, and she only has fifty two now. But she is in love with all fifty two of her subscribers, and. She is a typical eight-year-old. She's not one of those eight-year-olds that's out there twerking and um, uh, doing all this crazy mess. She, she is well-mannered and <laughs> no rhythm whatsoever. All right, so now we have our base part done. Thank you, D. Thank you, Jacqueline. So now... What we need to do is we need to put our pony bees around here. And guys, this is going to be a project that goes over the hour. I can see it already. So um, when you have to leave, um, do so and come back when this is finished. And when you're finished with spending time with your family and finish looking at the uh this one okay so we're gonna use and these are real crystals guys these are real glass glass crystals and they're pretty heavy and 
I want it longer than this, so I'm going to put two together. No, forgive me, I'm being rude. right here guys look at that when these things don't ain't no joke Lord, good evening, Miss Chick, man. I'm gonna have to close it back. This is a tragedy, guys. It's taking me um three minutes just to do this. Yeah. Yes. Did you find any black and out? Yeah. 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 I don't know why you think y'all got so much money. Look at that. Battle wound, guys. Uh, whoever just um gave the money for the channel, thank you so much. As you know, at my favorite store, that's five items. And this is a pony bead, y'all. It's, it's just the beads that you put on your hair. Put it over there. And so you place it like mm, on the side. And you hook the uh, Like I said, I don't like to use hot glue for stuff like this, but I'm going to add just a tad bit, I'm trying to add a tad bit to get it to um, 
thick fast. Gonna turn on light. Okay. Well, I didn't have your muffin get hurt too, so you got to get more food on the I got the popcorn, I got you some grapes too. Did you already have some? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I need to turn it this way. Yes, sir. Come on. What you cooking, Lamar? Can I get a bag of chips? I don't care, but y'all need to be quiet. Kill them. Put the cheeseburgers in there. Hey, stop all the noise. Bye, y'all. Get out. Y'all, y'all, so rude, being so rude. I'm sorry, guys. Your uncle gonna get you. Oh, she's drinking a, a juice. Oh, I, got I don't want. I don't want that. I don't want that brand anymore. When you, yeah, but when you get when you go get mine tomorrow, get me some name brand one. Name brand, name. Or go to or go to Dollar General because I don't see the name brand tastes nasty. Oh, no. I agree with that. My mama said it tastes good. It tastes bad. Oh, Lord. Jesus. It tastes good. <laughs> okay. Now, if my pony be whole, because, like I said, the, um, the crystals are glass, so I'm hoping that it's gonna hold. It's it seemed pretty tight, and guys, the uh, the hour is coming to an end, and as you can see, um, I'm putting the, putting it together. I will normally what I do is close close the hour out and then start recording again. Oh yes. Did you taste them? No, they look good on them. Mm -hmm. They be looking good and sometimes they be bad. And tasty. My son brought me some grapes. Oh guys, if that oh if y'all are looking for a movie to watch and you have Netflix, watch the extract the it's a new movie called The Extraction. Oh my god, it will have you on the edge of your seat the entire time. When I tell you it's so much action packed in that movie, it is mm 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 mm. I'm gonna um uh, see that's that's not even tight. I'm going to close this out, guys. I'm gonna get one on. I want to get one on so you can see what it looks like and how the pony be work. Okay, so it's on, and this is what it looks like on. And this is going to go in here like this. So you're going to have the chandelier pieces on the inside as well as the chandelier pieces on the outside. We are making a um, crystal vase chandelier, chandelier vase, 
It is a um, a unique vase. I'm putting two pieces together, uh, and they're thrifted pieces. And up here, you can put a candle um, because did a whole. Bronte, give me one of those candles. Right there, bath and body work candle. Uh um, the one that's uh, right there out. Yeah, the broke one. And you can put a you can put a bath and body work candle in here. So you can use this as a candle holder. Um, you can also put a styrofoam in here and use it as a floral base. Um, see how heavy that is? It came off. You can use um. You can use it to put the decorative balls in. So you can use this base for a lot of a lot of things. And I'm going to finish it. And I'm going to post a picture of the finished product. And I may record a little bit more of it for a video. So um, it could be a part two to it. And it will be... Yeah, um, it's me, but I'm scared to work with glass drilling the hole. I'm scared I might um, crack it. So, um, yeah, I'm scared I might crack it. So I'm going to have to uh, figure out how to how to get these to stay on because, like, uh, these are not the plastic ones. They are. Thank you. And I haven't forgot about my divas out there. Um, I am trying to figure out what I'm going to go at with, with um, um, divas talk time. And I think what I'm going to have to do with this is I'm going to have to put them on. Put them on. And I'm going to have to just, you know, be patient and let them let them uh let them cure let them cure and they'll be on permanently and see that one right there is wiggly too so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead Put the pony bees up here on this part as well as this part and then i am going to let this cure for about an hour and then i'm going to come back and put it all together and i will show you guys that process so guys i love you I, let me go up here hopefully this don't fall on me Band of my eyes. So, guys, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you to the moon and back. Yes, um, the pony bee, the pony bees with um the E6 styles with a permanent adhesive. Now, I don't know now, and it will. And let me say this: they do have the the uh, the drops that are plastic. So you can get the acrylic plastic ones and they won't be so heavy. And you don't you probably wouldn't have to wait for them to cure because um the 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 crystal itself, the this right here isn't that heavy. It's yeah, I am. I'm gonna put some on the edges as well, Miss B. I'm gonna put some um crystals around it as well. But yes, so you can get the non- glass ones i just wanted this to be a a very elegant piece i want it to be all glass and so um i chose to use the the real ones and so um i have to let them cure for a little while and also i need to connect some more together and you saw how long that was taking me so i uh, thank you so much for spending your saturday evening with me um stay continue to stay safe Continue to um, stay positive. Um, continue to help your fellow uh, neighbor out. If you have someone that has been affected by this as far as the, um, being out of work. And, um, you know, bills don't stop because the coronavirus came. So, um, 
help them out. Maybe, you know, go and get, go to the Dollar Tree and get $10 worth of groceries. Now, you know, Dollar Tree has some good groceries. They have bread, they have eggs, they have juice, they have um, hot dogs, they have sausages. I mean, so, um, yeah, so, you know, maybe go and buy a basket, make a little basket up and sit it on their door, on their front porch, ring their doorbell, and then, you know, just leave. You don't have to, you know, make yourself known. Just, you know, do it out of the kindness of your heart. Um, if you have uh, someone, an uh, elderly person that you know um, is not getting out because they are the ones that are really, really, really affected by it, do something for them as well. So, guys, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you to the moon and back and back again. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.